So now for the final part of sketching Spidey, our main focus will be on the three parts which are the neck part of the Tobey Maguire, the costume part and the third one is the blending and the most important part is the blending of both the costume and the neck part because the costume part is completely black and there were, there were shades which are completely black and it is going like 10B to 2B like the 2B for the basic layer of neck and the 10B for the complete black part of the costume that Spidey always wear so now for the particular part of the left side part of the face we will use the same technique that we have used on a face or the if we use in every part of sketches like 2B pencil just use cross hatching method or use sharpen graphite pencil which is 2B or you can see the skin tone of Toby Maguire which is layer a bit more brighter so you you can use 2H pencil also use a clean graphite pencil or sharpen graphite pencil then for blending those graphite pencil you can use earbud also you can use tissues also but for the base layer only you can use a blending stumps also but the main thing while using a blending stump on the skin texture is that your blending stump should be clean so for cleaning the blending stump you have to use blades or any other parts which are the sharpened one like scissors or any other thing but for sharpening if you are under 12 or 13 years age just tell your parents or anyone bigger than or older than 18 years just tell them to sharpen your blending stumps or sharp pencils they will help you out now after sharpening those pencils for the second layer just use 3b pencil just like the parts of left side part of the like nose left side part of the nose there are layer a bit parts which are layer a bit more darker like 3b on the end part of the nose complete left side of the nose which is layer a bit darker but not complete dark so you can use 3b pencil for the first layer base layer was 2b now after blending the 2b player 2b layer just use 3b pencil for the more darker parts but the game begins where the center or the middle part where the blending comes out so if you can use if you will use charcoal pencil for making those darker parts it will not be blended easily with the graphite pencil which were the 2b pencil of the toby Maguire skin texture but if you will use graphite pencil it will not easily combined or blended with the dark charcoal pencils which we have used in the costume or the darker part straight lines of the right hand side part so what we'll do now so for this use graphite pencil which is the 8b pencil use a graphite pencil or you can also use charcoal pencil on the remaining parts but i will recommend you can use both techniques but for the first technique use 8b pencil make more and more darker values where the darker values you can see just don't go with the 8b or charcoal pencil and using this on the every darker parts because if you will make this mistake and if you want to blend those parts just like the center part which is blending of those two parts if you want to blend those two parts it will not be blended easily so i will recommend that use first 6b pencil just make more and more darker values then see where the complete blacker parts are just like the center of the nose and the costume there were blending there is a complete black part so use 8b or 10b pencil but the blending starts like 6b 10b on the complete left side part of the blending there is 10b then 6b then 8b then 6b so you have to keep on focusing on the darker and darker values use same blending stump or you can also use earbuds but i will recommend that you sharpened blending stump for making those detailed areas now for the same technique that we have used in previous part for making the spideys blacker straight lines or any other costume part use same technique use charcoal pencil for making those blacker parts complete black parts right so use charcoal pencil then for the center parts but the main thing comes here is that those parts which are completely white here because the light source is completely going downwards and the upside part of the face or the costume part were not 
a more wear equal to mid tone but the downside part of the costume is more light tone as compared to upper parts so use graphite pencil lie up to 5b pencil use the graphite pencil makes smaller straight lines but the main thing finally i want to tell you that the center parts of the red part there were smaller smaller areas straight lines cross hatching lines also so for making those straight and common areas use graphite pencils but if you don't use graphite pencil or after making two or three strokes the graphite pencil just gets more and more flattened so for the making those smaller lines use mechanical pencil so that you can have more crossed hatch parts which are the center part so after making those center parts just blend it using blending stumps and after blending those parts just rub the parts which are more highlighted most of the artist make mistake here is that they rub out the every part they just don't make the mid tone light tone and the darker tones blending blending these three parts like higher tone mid tone and lower tone will give you a realistic or hyper realistic sketches and the more and more time you will give on your sketches it will it will look more and more beautiful here comes the center part which were the blending part so i have used a charcoal powder for the base layer just bl- used a charcoal powder with brush or makeup brush if you don't know, you can use any brush also but if you don't know you ha- don't know how to use a brushes for making those blending parts just comment down below i will make a- another tutorial for you so after using those parts you can see that i have a base layer which is a charcoal one but the complete left side part which is skin texture of toby maguire i have not used charcoal powder but i have used charcoal powder on the complete right side which is the costume part and the middle part i have not used in the left side part of the toby maguire and uh, i can also say that mid tone part i have not used now after using as a base layer of charcoal powder i will just darken the parts which are complete dark using charcoal pencil or soft charcoal pencil complete right side part of the spidey costume costume is completely black so you can use a soft charcoal pencil just darken the every part use blending stump for blending those parts and then finally for the finishing use soft charcoal pencil for complete black parts but for the middle part where the blending of the skin texture and the costume is going on use a charcoal pencil which is the mid tone or the medium charcoal pencil don't use up to 6b or 8b pencil for graphite pencil because if you will use graphite pencils here it will not get blended easily with the charcoal pencil and it will look completely horrible so for this mistake most of the artists make here a bigger mistake is that they use graphite pencil for blending those charcoal and graphite pencil and after using those two parts easily blending is not possible for making those two parts so for finally the main thing about uh, any sketches or any particular portraits or if or if you are going for realistic sketches you have to give patience and have time for sketching any portraits if you will not give more and more time to your sketches it will not look more beautiful it will look completely right drawings uh before 6 or 8 months before i was making sketches those were looking like drawings people were appreciating my sketches like i make good sketches and they tell me very good sketches but those were looking like a drawing i was i was just making sketches in just 45 30 minutes 1 hours and those were looking like drawings but not a completely realistic sketches so after that i have given more and more time to my sketches after that i have made sketches in like 5 hours 10 hours more than 6 hours 10 hours i have uploaded in my second channel also where you can see that how i take so much time for sketches but for hyper realistic sketches people take more than 100 hours also so for advanced artist uh, for advanced artist they know how to give more and more time to their sketches for more beautiful sketches but for a beginner and intermediate artist i will recommend that give time to your sketches so that you, they can you can apply more and more details but nowadays most of the artists are in just hurry they just want a sketches in just one or two days or one or two hours and they they just want sketches to complete gets completed 
but they don't want the realistic sketches like a photo is equal to the reference picture or the sketches that you are making so that was all for this tutorial if you have learned something from this video subscribe and drop a like and comment down your question and queries regarding this tutorial meanwhile take care take care of your loved ones too have an artistic day tattoos